Here I am in production truck. Nothing's connected right now, but to connect your scoreboard device, click the middle settings icon. Once you're here, go to the middle tab at top and click scoreboard. There should be a drop down menu by source. Since we're integrated with production truck, you'll see scoreboard. Click that and you'll see that nothing's connected. Click the plus sign to add your own Nest ID. Since the device was added successfully, you should be able to see real-time data come in now since we have a game going on. It's important to be sure to click the Update Overlays button by the plus and minus sign as well. Once your device is successfully added, go to the bottom left box and click the plus sign. This will give you overlay options. Since we have a basketball game going on, we'll select basketball, and that will get us more basketball design options. For the best overlay option, Click the overlay that says Gotham. Under, select the control panel. This will allow you to control the overlay. Click open, and you'll see them in the bottom left box. To put the overlay on the broadcast screen, select the tab and drag it over to the bottom right box. Here, you can see data come in. To get a game clock on there, click the button that says game right by the clock icon. There you'll see the real game clock. Shot clock right next to it. I won't do it now, but this is how you can customize the colors and the names for the overlay. Make sure you click this overlay button to get it on the actual broadcast. The bottom right box is just a preview screen. Since I don't have a camera connected, you're just seeing a black screen. From there, you can unpin the overlay on the preview screen and move it wherever you want on the broadcast screen. And that's it. That's how you get your scoreboard overlay to your broadcast.